uh, maybe there is a war or something like that, whereby the normal institutions of government have collapsed. Maybe you may say, in that case, you might not even say we are postponing the election. You simply say we are failed to hold the election because of the instability. But when you are dealing with specific uh, or individual elections, that is the presidential, parliamentary, and local government, that specific election can be postponed. Again, the postponement is by operation of the law. Okay? In a situation where this is where the issue comes up, let's assume, uh, as you know, all the, is it, I don't know whether 15 or 16 presidential candidates, all those that have been registered right now, uh, to participate in the election as presidential candidates, yes. uh, they are all sponsored by political parties. Now, one situation in which you can postpone that particular election, which is a presidential election, is in a situation where a candidate sponsored by a political party dies, okay, and, or resigns for whatever reason, they resign. Now, in that case, it becomes unfair for the election to go ahead because the other political party whose candidate has possibly resigned or died will be disadvantaged. That's the only situation in which the election can be pushed forward for a period of 30 days. Okay? okay? That's the only instance. There is no provision in our Constitution to postpone a general election. You cannot. Okay? But individual election can be postponed depending upon what transpires.